Hello and welcome guys and gals to Ashes Bashes Gaming, your destination for discovering new and exciting games. Today on your screens we have Mortal Sin. This is a hack and slash game by Nikola Todorovic. Apologies brother if I've taken your name wrong. Uh, so let's jump right in and show you what this is all about. I like the peachiness of it and especially the existential questioning thoughts that come up every time uh, you respawn. I think there is where uh, to live in this realm is to suffer. Some say death is a release from suffering, but not for you, struggler. For you, death is only the beginning. You are with God now. So th these thoughts are what uh, first drew me to this game. I love these thoughts. And as you can see, the game is very, very different than anything I have at least ever played. It has a whole uh, pixely feel to it. Makes you really you know, bring things into black and white. Where you will question your life. You will question what exactly you are doing with. And most of all, you will have fun dismembering enemies. So see, he, they have actually put in the work for developing the world. It's just that they have chosen to make it uh, seem very disconcerting to you. There's also a hand on the top, corn, uh, top middle part of the screen. Okay, your steps. There is some dudes coming. Okay, that was a well-timed kick. And as you can see, just hitting them once does not work. See, now this dude is headless, so he can't see where you are. But he can probably hear you. And he's still coming for you. So that's how gory this game is. So he also has something called magics, where we pick up spells which uh, consume mana have a radius and do particular amounts of uh, damage. We can also pick up weapons. So there are a lot of things available as uh, you progress. You find them lying around in such uh, crates and uh, pots. Most of these items, actually all of these items are breakable. Helmet, uh, Quick Blizzard 3, no, I have a better one. What's this? Is this a different helmet? No, I have a better helmet. So as you can see, if I click on the tab, I there's the equipment screen where I can see what is it that I have equipped and how exactly that affects my uh, stats. My critical damage is 150%, so that's a good thing. Every second strike would be a critical damage. Now I have a, a possibly better uh, mana, uh, magic thing to pick up. But as you can see, there are traps here, and I really got distracted by that. So what these traps do is, they kill your enemies for you too, along with killing you, obviously. Okay. So the blue things are uh, magic, and the red... Okay, this is... It also has an element of jump scare, the game. Really wants you to be afraid. That is what they are going for, and that was level 1. I know it was very short. But uh, the game does become harder as you progress. These are where you can, you know, top off your health and magic. Okay. So the halberd has much better range as you guys can see. Much better range as compared to my sword. Okay, there are too many, too many people. We took, no, one hit. No, I'm guessing not. Well, that was a clean dismemberment. Uh, sorry, beheading. Well, I am really loving this halberd. As you can see, you know, the more you play, the better weapons and the likes that you will unlock. Okay, so we've got a better quality uh, <laughs> magic. I have not yet used any of the magics right now. What is this? Look at this. It's a work of art with uh, blood. I don't know, bloodstone. They've really gone for a very strong horror element. So you have to really cut down people, otherwise they don't die. Uh, boots. My god, I nearly screamed, I swear. 
they really do want to keep you uh scared okay there are dead ends so there is a very linear uh path which you can progress in every dungeon so at times you will have to go down dead ends to unlock uh, like i'm sure our road down is here but we will need a kill switch not a kill switch per se uh but some switch which would uh, open up that crate is this a better helmet no okay let's stay safe as we go in the dark okay we've got the switch and i'm sure no it's the switch has just opened this door now we need to open this halberd sword no i rather love my halberd halberd sorry so you do have to be very careful there are a hundred ways you can uh expire but he has made it interesting uh nicola with the different things that you can pick up you really have a lot of choice as to the options that you get and i do actually spend an inordinate amount of time choosing what is it that i should keep so this game is not really meant to think a lot in play it's like you just have to go and slice through now i know one mistake i do is i never never ever parry I mean that's an important part of the game and I never do that. But you know I, I have grown up playing uh fighting games where I never parry take damage from mana before health. I'm not I'm not sure how good that is. Third consecutive swing will be a power strike. Arcane strike to an enemy's arms leech mana. Blue essence will no longer spawn. No. I think I'd rather take this because anyway I'm a fan of just slashing my way through. I want to try and see if I can Oh, sh look at these dudes rushing me. You know this is I think a perfect no we have already killed them otherwise I would have tried out the magic uh thing here as you can see the yellow things that we pick up they are kind of like gold and they will come in handy later on okay so this was also meant as a jump scare thankfully this cross saved me from it uh no rather not take this this is a better boot yes it is Okay, so I hear traps on the other side of the wall. Well, see, that was the magic and I wish I had used it when there were more people around. Not just for that one dude. So, I have actually found it pretty easy to uh, behead people. I think we'll have to somehow just rush. Can't take whatever there is. Nope, this still comes up. I took the gold. I can't take anything else. So I always aim for the head. <laughs> if playing zombie games have taught me one thing, that's the thing. Always aim for the head. This is really scary at times. Wow, look at the range on this halberd. How are these dudes reaching me? Come on, I should not be taking so many hits. Maybe I should have just used my magic there. Okay, better helmet. Is this telling us to go the opposite way? I think so. This is... Okay, this room was just for this armor of vitality. This has does really have a very eerie feel to it. This dude was really going for... Uh, scaring us and scaring whoever plays the game. And I must say he has achieved it, undoubtedly. Well, that was a clean hit. Okay, I really have to f plan my movements better. Okay, this is definitely... Oh my. This guy took an opportune moment to attack while I was looking at what is it that I could pick up. Our health needs to be carefully managed right now. Wait, what did we take? Blast all enemies with fire. So be it. And uh, this is these are procedurally generated. Uh, ah, we walked right into that one. Okay, I spot more people shooting at me probably. Or no, those are... Dude, where are they coming from? Perfect time to use 
Yes, I it, we used it perfectly. Oh no, there are more. I spotted some more. But they are thankfully getting into the traps. Die, man. My health is very, very low and I need to be very careful. Oh, unfortunately, unfortunately. But I reached level 5. And I have noticed that every time I reach level 5. In this world, there is only one certainty. And that certainty is death. Humans feared the unknown and looked for answers. So they prayed to the stars. And their prayers went unanswered. So from the void of absence, man created God. Dude, this Nicola, I must say, if you are watching this, you are a philosopher, my friend. I have the same thoughts. And trust me, I completely agree with you. Now, as you will notice, uh, every time we die and are reborn, we use, lose some gold. So the more you can collect, the more you will have. You can also craft some items here. What you get is completely random. Thankfully, we've got the halberd, the trusty old halberd. But then we might actually find a better weapon along the way. So many people might even say that this is an exercise in futility. Unnecessary to craft new weapons. Since we are anyway going to be getting better ones as we play. Now, uh, this might get a little repetitive after, some, after a while of playing. And there is also... Oh, wow. There is also an aspect of hitting through the walls when you stand at the corners like this. See, you can hit the other side. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but it's there in the game. And I intend to make full use of it. Anything to survive these dungeons. Oh, that was a bad miss. But I must say it is oddly satisfying whack somebody's limbs off just okay we are looking for a switch and i believe the switch is on the other end that side okay, yes and what's this armor no there's also a slight uh, delay in looking or you know bringing the other equipment to your screen as and when you have more than one equipment on screen the small things really really tiny details okay i'm guessing this is the switch nothing here okay that's it for this level now as i was saying it does get slightly repetitive after a time because see this is made as a roguelite where you actually have uh, to start all over again every time you die now, I have no issues with that. Just the fact is, it's so damn hard. But, it does uh, intend to make you feel despair and gloom and fear. So it definitely does what it sets out to do. And you know what I found the most important, uh, interesting fact? If you notice, you I'm sure you've noticed by now that your enemies are blue. But I was really drawn to the fact that we ourselves are blue. That effectively says that we are killing our fellows. And I don't know anything darker than that. Well, that was a good hit. Halbert definitely has amazing, amazing range. Oh, one more dude. Where did this dude come from? Well, it's amazing to, to see them walk into the traps and get obliterated you know i know the exit is there well there's a weapon here too oh damn this is really scary i have to say axe of balance maybe we should just go down but i'd rather explore slightly there's something there there has to be well yes i am rewarded with some boots oh Okay, this dude knew that we are going to come here and he's kept a trap there, strategically. The game is, I mean, it's small, it's limited in its scope, but it's very, very well made. I mean, it really does what it sets out to do with enough amounts of replayability. Inner fire, launch a fireball when you kick, that would be fun. Power strikes, launch a powerful wave attack. Mortal combo. I think I would rather take the mortal combo. But no, you know, 
Kicking with the fireball is fun. Okay, so power strikes are basically when you hold and then hit. It that does more damage. I have I hardly ever use that, but it is there. Dude, please. Okay, so our axe does no more uh, damage side to side. It is singularly straight. You need to keep that in mind. And I'm really going to be missing my Albert in this time. Okay. As you can see, our kicks now launch fireballs. Hey, that was a side to side strike. I wonder where it was when I needed it. Wow, they are getting eradicated. Oh, he's coming on one leg for me. Okay, the range is much, much lower with the axe. Oh, shh. Okay, so we have frozen them, which makes it easier for us to kill them. How oh, many? Why am I missing? Okay, I'm never taking the axe again. I am never taking the axe again. Actually, I think I've gotten too used to side by uh, side swing attacks. Well, I anyway have an axe. That's why I'm taking this axe. I'm not going back on my word or so. Let's see. Helmet, yes. What's this? Blizzard, no. I think I would rather keep what I have. It does say to go this direction. Okay, there are many things here. Better boots. Exit is here. And I'm sure there was a room there. Where should we go from here? Let's go left. Now I know there is enough time to cross, but I get scared every time while crossing. I always feel as if it is really going to just s snap me into two. Health is something that you really need to manage in this game. Okay, we are back to full, nearly full health. And I think that's more... Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is scary. Wait. Helmet of... Is that was a higher level helmet? Well, this area... I hate these open areas. There are simply too many people in these kind of areas. And I... The axe is definitely not meant for a place such as this. Okay, they are spawning out from anywhere and everywhere. You know, perfect time to use... Ah, oh, we have died. And again, it's at level 5. But now we know not to use the axe. You reach beyond the veil, poking and prodding for something greater. Some sense of purpose. What is it you hope to find? And when you do find it, will it be what you're looking for? I'm telling you this game, if not anything else, if not anything else, it's simply worth playing because of these dialogues, this poetry that... Nicola has uh, included in the playthrough. It's really amazing. Okay, you know, I think I think I'll go this last. This is the last I'm going to try because there's another area called the caves, which I did not really have a lot of success with, but I'm going to try it next. Okay, that dude was aggressive. Let's check out this area first. Okay, it anyway tells us to go that direction, so I'd rather go the opposite way. The hand is definitely useful at times. When you are lost, it really tells you where to go. Well, made quick work of that wraith. Okay, so that's a wraith, and I don't know what the... People who attack us with melee are called. Oh no, I didn't want to pick that up. Okay, so this is... Okay, now we can. Quick blizzard. 
3, Heavy Blizzard 4. This, that makes more sense. Halberd, we found our trusty Halberd. There are some dudes there. We need as much money as we can get. Well, you know, even morbid games <laughs> require money. Everything in life requires money. If you ever doubted that, here's every game proving you wrong. Where was that exit? Here. Got it. Thankfully, we can top up our health. And I'm, I actually realize that I don't use the magics as much. I really should use the magics more. Wow, we were protected by these spikes. And this trap here. Good for us. Wait. Takes more mana, actually. I don't know why the fact that something would consume more mana is in green. Nicola, that does not make sense. Attack and speed is higher, though the reach will be lower. But some sacrifices have to be made. Not everything in life is perfect. And we don't get everything we want. That's fine. Has this opened? Yes, it has. But I would rather just go explore for whatever I can find. Yes. Wait, is that somebody walking? Yes, it is. Well, I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. Well, I've gotten too used to the additional range of the halberd. Maybe I should go back and use the halberd. Okay, so we can't go up. As you can see, the road gets barred every time you get in for the next level. Okay, so basically we get these bonuses every time it uh, level 3, Bone Shatter, Power Strike, Launch a Fireball. Well, since I am not using the Power Strike or the Parry, this makes more sense. Come on, dude. Wow, look at his range. Look at how far he can attack us from. The melee dude is actually one of the most powerful enemies there are. What? Hey, come on. We died uselessly here in level 4. Completely due to my mistakes. We are not so different, you and I. The more you push, the more I push back. A seemingly endless struggle ensues, ensures, ensues two indomitable wills. Join me in this rhapsody of violence and you will find that we are one. Yes, Nicola, you are one of the few who have uh, realized this. We are all one. Creating anvil might as well. Okay, just a very low level uh, item that we've got. But so be it. You know what? Let's craft again since we have... Oh, come on. I could have really done with uh, a different, you know, maybe an armor or something of that sort. That would have been better. Okay, so let's drop into the caves. Thankfully, there is no fall damage. I hear steps on my left. Okay, they are on the right. There is a axe here. Well, we made short work of him, didn't we? This dude has too much range. The melee dude really needs some... ...buffing down. Okay, I spot some health there, so I'm going for it. Oh, wow. Oh. This dude attacked me through walls. The enemy is really strong in this game, I have to say. Hey. Does this go down? Wait, let's see what's on that side. Just for the sake of it. Dead end? Yes. As expected, dead end. 
this game should i don't know if you are uh, not very good with jump scares you really shouldn't be playing this game does have many things to keep you scared look at the number of hits needed okay this is a new kind of a trap What is this? A gargoyle of sorts? That was scary, man. Okay, there is nothing inside. This place is filled with uh, unsatisfying uh, goodies. How dare you come attack me, my dude? Oh my! Ah! I was not expecting. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, come on! That that there was nothing even there for that to jump out, and yet it did. It's like the game just wants to scare me needlessly. It's just searching for uh, means and ways to scare me. Well, it is succeeding. What about this? Is the road open now? Wait, we didn't go this way, did we? Armor of balance, yes. Okay, we've come down the wrong road, but at least we got some new armor. Ah, unnecessary hit. I was not looking at where I was going. Bad timing. Hopefully the healer would heal us. Okay, so these uh, upgrades are there every time at level 3 regardless of where you're playing. But there are enemies here too. Oh, come on. I really should have parried that. I don't know why I didn't. Inner fire, headhunter, berserk. Okay, melee deal double damage but you also take double damage. No. Rather go for the headhunter since I do seem to be hitting the head every time. Gargoyle. This dude does is missing one leg, so he definitely stepped on some. Oh come on! Why did I not see that? This dude definitely s stepped on some uh, trap. Unnecessary hits. What? The gargoyle is a magician. He can. Call in more people? Okay, I definitely need some health now. Should I take this axe? Well, it is much stronger, so I have to. I don't really want to, but I don't really have much option here. I would love a good halberd any day. Lots of traps, lots of traps. And some... Oh shit, look at these dudes. I don't even have any magics. Ah, I expired. I was killed by a mummy. Okay, so whoever... Uh, I'll come back to that. You wanted to live forever. So you followed my every word. And now that your wish is granted, you reject my gift and curse my name. Struggle then. You will find no solace. Interesting. Interesting. So let's actually try and craft something else. Let's see, we got an axe. At least it's of a higher level. Let's try the caves again. So anyone who that uh, gargoyle creature resurrects or gives birth to or summons. I think summons is a better word, yes. Whoever he summons is basically uh, a mummy. I hear steps. And somebody breaking pots and pans. I must say. I really find this axe problematic. Okay, we can use magic. Look at that, one more halberd. And this halberd is better, yes. Where did this dude come from? 
Gargoyle, Gargoyle, Priority Gargoyle. Gargoyle is dead thanks to the Halberd. This Halberd is invaluable. Just that I think I wasted those thousand coins. Okay, that he that was just meant for jump scare again. Lot of elements of jump scare in this game. Uh, D scythe no, does not seem worth it. Heavy boots, armor four. Boots of vitality six. No, let's check out the armor. Are both helmet? Yes. Come on, armor. Armor. Okay, both were the same armor. So there was not really much of a decision making there. Let's see, did we come this way? Yes, we did, didn't we? Okay, the coffin also holds something. Much higher level helmet. Armor is the same again. Nope. Okay, it's time for us to go back. And the entryway was here. Thank God for some health. Okay, let's try that parry. Well, I never am successful with my parries. Never. Deadly Blizzard 3 Armor 2. No. I have better stuff. Okay, now we've found better armor. Helmet, better helmet. And yes, finally. Finally, I could do a parry. A successful parry. Uh, nope. I already have a better armor. What? What just happened? Okay. This is scary. What just happened? <laughs> okay, Halberd of Vitality gives me slightly additional health. Let's see. Uh, death Scythe radius is less actually. So no. Oh, nowhere to go here. Let's check out this. Hey, there's a Gargoyle. First, kill the Gargoyle and everything else is much easier. Well, I'm not scared of you anymore, dude. Armor? No, that's such a weak armor. Okay, let's go down to level 3. Is this? Yes. As you can see on top middle, uh, it shows which level we are. Above the hand, you can notice the number of seals or you know, symbols that are there above the hand. Is there anybody here? No, thankfully no. Power strike, no. Berserk, no. Icy veins. I am never doing any, and none of these actually help me. But I think I'd rather go for the power strike, even though I will not use it. What is this? It's a cleaver. But I think I have a better halberd. So. Oh, come on. We walked right into that one. Heavy Axe of Balance, better attack, better speed, more health, mana and critical chance. But I hate axes. So no. Oh come on dude. Why kick a man when he's picking up something? Wow look at how strong the Halberd is. Hellfire 5. Freezes all nearby enemies, blasts all enemies with fire. You know what I'm happy with what I have. Another axe, another thing I shall not be taking. I'm l I love the range on the halberd, man. It's amazing. Oof, that was scary. Okay, I might as well walk on this. Well, that was a good hit. Okay, I need to go the opposite way, I guess. How many dudes are here? This game 
really does give me the heebie jeebies. Is there anybody else here? Show yourself. Oh wow, there's a damn hand here. And we can even hit it. Are! Ah! Shit. Oh, apologies for the language, but that was scary. Okay, so there are living things in the walls too in this game. All right, let's go. I hear more demons. Oh, something else in the wall. This dude was like a auto torrent. It's consistently uh, shooting out. Nope, nothing to do. Okay, that's it. We are on to level 4. I've never been to level 4 in these caves. Health is low. We will be getting some top up here. Not enough though. Oh, come on. Okay, so there are people with weapons also now. 2 by 2. Oh, 2 by 21? What the hell? I will probably not be surviving this. I don't look like I will be. Okay, so people frozen stay frozen for a very long time. Ah, well that was as far as I made it. Looks like level 5 is ex extreme for me on both the dungeons as well as the caves. Resist all temptation. Do not be leered into the maw of sin. Then you will become closer to God. But ask yourself, who then gave us these urges? If we were not meant to indulge them, I completely agree. God gave us these urges. You think sin is uh, something only meant? Sin is something bad? I think we have uh, probably taken sin in the wrong way. If God can sin, that he can be so wrathful to kick off humanity. Uh, to... Exile humanity from the guard from the Garden of Eden just for disobeying him. If God can be so prideful, uh, so as to put so as to tell us to worship him in the first of his commandments, then that means God sins too. We've just been told that sins are bad things. Made to believe that only God can sin. I agree with you, Nicola. God definitely gave us these urges. But you gave me these amazing traps which kill my enemies for me. So thank you. Okay, we will be having to go there anyway. Let's check out the other paths. I don't know whether that was a good boot or a bad boot. I just took it. Yes, it was actually a bad, good boot. Okay then, some health is always welcome. Oh wow, those spikes really helped. Come on dude, get the spikes, yep. Anybody else? No, no one else. Oh, one more dude coming, one more incoming. Oh, the spikes didn't manage to eradicate him completely oh I should have waited slightly longer okay that was intense oh come on this dude just wants to scare me Nicola you are a crafty one aren't you let's see if he can take this yes we have been we've been successful in taking that gold Okay, so there's no being inside this red wall. Thankfully for us. Better sword. Oh, 
Oh no, I really should be watching my surroundings before focusing on picking things up. Hellfire, no. Quick hellfire. Probably this is better. Oh dude, you're just scaring me now. Needlessly. Helmet. Better helmet. Where are all these enemies? We are in level 2. You'd really enjoy scaring his gamers, Nicola. Hellfire 5. No, we have a better one. Oh, so we are back here. And I think we may have opened up that uh, exit point. Well, all we had to do was actually look back. But we moved about quite a bit. No issues. Okay then, let's see what bonuses do we get. Berserk, no headhunter, maybe mortal combo. Mortal combo, actually you know, the mortal combo would be helpful. So, headhunter would have also been good. Well, yes, people coming in. Come on, dude. Okay, I, I am missing the third strike often. So maybe I should have taken the headhunter. Let's see, Blizzard 6, well yes. Boots of Balance, yes. Hel higher level helmet too. So he does, you know, keep it uh, interesting for you. You do have to pick up things and be involved with the gear that you have. So in a way, he buys your uh, attention. So it's not just hack and slash gives you something else to do as you hack and slash there's got to be someone here this large room empty what a shame well i spot people well that was a good hit we got him in just one strike imagine oh hellfire of intellect lesser mana see the fact that something would cost mana 48 and something would cost lesser mana 32 should be in green and not red cleaver no i have a better sword thank you but this has better stats it gives the same attack wait you know how does this hit how is its range well you know let's experiment let's try out a few and then we shall know attack lower mana much higher radius also lower so no okay boys we have we are moving ahead with the cleaver i hope i don't regret that i hardly ever kick or parry it's all just simply slicing people oh it's those big rooms Oh, the cleaver is slightly unwieldy. There are dudes here and I wish I could see. Okay, we narrowly missed that. Traps are doing a lot of work for us. A lot of work. Oh, come on. How did he even hit me? Okay, we have to get really close while attacking. But it is pretty deadly up close okay that was some heavy carnage there you know what burn all of you 12 or 15 so there will be a few more coming in okay i see the three who have spawned they should be pushing me come dude come come closer Oh, he's at attempting to hit us with his head now. 14 by 15, so there's definitely... Ah, unnecessarily. He walked into that one. There is one more dude somewhere about. I don't know where he is though. How do I somehow manage to take these... 
Oh, there he is. The bugger was hiding. Imagine that. The dude was hiding. Okay, we survived. What's that sound? What's that sound? How is there one more? Oh, come on. We took unnecessary hits. I can hear someone crying. Okay. It's this dude. Well, I actually uh, think the sword and the halberd are the best weapons in this game. The cleaver and the axe are decent. But not as good. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, well, that was bad. Fire of Wraith. Would you rather be like them, a husk of a, a husk of a soul long past? You have retained your sense of self, and that is my gift to you. But who you who are you really, if not a part of me? True, man. I mean, the thoughts are so deep while playing this game. Okay, we've got quite a bit of. Uh, Gold, let's craft something. Blizzard 2, fine. Let's go ahead with the Blizzard 2 to the caves. Let's see how that is. Well, the caves are definitely uh, much more difficult as compared to the dungeons. Boots. Oh. oh. So the gargoyle dude can't call people once he is beheaded. Got some armor. And we can pick up some mana from here. And some gold. Oh. I nearly didn't see you. Look at this dude just bringing in more people randomly. Okay, look at this place is full of blood. This game is definitely gory. Not for children, not at all advised. Though I must say that, you know, when I craft, it is kind of useless. Because I do get much better items uh, while playing. Hey, there's a gargoyle there. You really want to pick up people, don't you? You just want to bring in more dudes. Bring in more money, mummies. Uh, okay, the exit is here. Well, boots of vitality seem better. Where do we have to go? There are so many roads here. Okay, one dude incoming. Come on. Oh, that was a bad miss. I definitely need a stronger weapon. This sword hardly seems to, seems to do anything to these dudes. Okay, probably I think we've now opened off, opened up the road. Go down. Wait, there was something in this direction. Armor, yes. Much better armor. Okay, so what does the armor actually do? Probably helps damage reduction and increased health. Okay, so we are at level 3. Time for the bonuses. Thankfully, we are back at full health. Arcane hunger, no. Inner fire, mortal combo. Inner fire makes more sense. No, actually, you know what? Mortal combo. I do tend to make multiple hits on these 
dead husks. Well, that was a pretty decent helmet. This dude is gotten busy with lifting up people again. He somehow survived that. Okay. Well, that was a good hit. That site four, Hellfire six, lesser mana. So yes. You see, we are getting a considerable. The large amount of gold. Look at this dude attacking us. Wow. Come on. You're just trying to scare me uselessly. That's not fair. Uh, death side of vitality, lower attacks, so no. Look at this hand, it's so scary. Thankfully, it does. Oh, it. Did do some damage to the side. I was not expecting it to reach me. Uh, quick blizzard, no. Let's see what's here. Hopefully there will be something good. Okay, we got some gold. Hey, isn't this level 4? Why is it still showing 3? Oh, this is that level where we are going to get swarmed right now. I'll definitely be prioritizing the gargoyle. Okay, we've got headless dudes. Oh, come on. How am I just walking into their attacks? Burn everybody. I just need some health. I'm too low. Well, I think I'll burn them as much as possible now. Where are they? I spot one gargoyle there. Oh. Thankfully, the trap took care of him for me. My attack is simply too low. I need stronger attack. Burn. Burn. Can we survive this? I wish we can. And I hope we can. Oh, come on. Every dude is attacking us once. Ah, we've got too low a mana. I can't launch a fire, hellfire. Wow, a dude without legs even was attacking me. Headless, armless dudes, everyone attacks. 19, so we just have a few more to take out. And we will be home safe. 22 more dudes, but my health is very very low Okay, I spot one dude I think both them dudes are there. Oh, come on. You can't make it dark unnecessarily Yes 22 is done, right? I did do 22. Come on Oof. We survived boys. We survived and for another day Okay There is this gold here and I don't know how to get it Okay, so we s walked up uh, the boulders slightly. Look at this dude. There are more, there are more. Mm. Die. Oh no. Oof. These dudes just don't stop. This is scary. Yeah, I've got 9,000... Uh, Hold now. I hope I take 
a good amount of it back with me. Hellfire of balance? Well, yes. Oh, come on. Oof. Each attack is so scary right now. Better boots. I would have expected... What? We got killed by the death hand? Oh, come on. I was really looking forward to crossing this level. Okay, I think that's the end of the poetry. And as you see, we lost 5000 plus gold. That is unjustified. I mean, every time we die, we should lose the same amount of gold. Come on. I mean, this way I can never build up enough gold. But uh, I think I'll stop now because the poetry stopped. To be honest, I really, really was here for the poetry. So guys, this is what this game is all about. It's definitely not for children. And uh, I don't think everybody would like a game like this. And even those who like it would probably not play it a very long time. But I think this is definitely a game you should play one day at least. You should definitely try out a game like this. It's really interesting. Uh, I mean, it really differs the pace. And I know it's hack and slash and gory and uh, dark and scary. But the the poetry, the lyrics that he's given. And imagine the beautiful, amazing music that goes on the background while you are waiting here and not going into the dungeons or the caves. This dude really has good artistic style and I think that reflects with the environment that he's made. As they say, you know, if you can't make something uh, look more gorgeous, make it look different. And Nicola has definitely done that. So kudos to Nicola. Uh, I will be coming back with another video because this was a very short game. I'll be showing off another game in some time. So the one person who is watching, you might want to stick around. I'll be back in 15 minutes at max, probably before that. Well, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do like, smash that like button and uh, consider subscribing to my channel so that you can discover new and exciting games. And the link to this game, Mortal Sin, is in the description below. This is Ashes Vashes signing off. Until next video, game on!